Okay. All right, Coach. Well, I got to ask you the first question. I know you played football at Kansas State. You're a Kansas kid. You know all about Kansas. So we'll ask you the fun one first. If, what is your favorite memory from Kansas State? Oh, wow. I think it would be Oklahoma in football. So uh, all the memories are great at Kansas State. I had a great education there. The coaches were great. Bus Murdies was our coach. And uh, I just appreciated the fact I had great teammates. Absolutely. And, and, you know, you being a part of that and, you know, you being a coach in so many different realms and, you know, you now being a part of this final four, how, how special is that to be a part of this run with, with Purdue men's basketball right now? Well, I think when you are a coach at the college level, that's our goal. We all, all want to get to the final four if possible. So it's just very special. And, you know, I got a picture from Lily talking about uh, – she showed me that Zach Eady gave you a piece of the Elite Eight net. Was that really cool to get that from from a player like him? It was really cool because I really not part of the staff. And uh, just the fact I was a friend being around the program, and he, he liked the fact I was there, I guess. So that was very special to me. Thank you for bringing that up. Absolutely. Let me ask, you know, you know, of course, you were the coach at Purdue for many years, and you've seen the program – rise under coach painter and what's what's your biggest motivation or why do you want to continue you know to support the program and, and be on the bench for them because of edu our education is the most important thing we can do in our young lives and to get a degree from a college is very special and then purdue is just special in all, all ways it's a great place to live it's a great place to get an education and the people are special so just an all-around great place for us to hang out as a family and for you to, you know, look back at your coaching career, what would you say, you know, that you loved doing so much? And, you know, again, you're, you know, you're supporting the team and you're impacting those young lives. What was the most thing that you loved about coaching so much? Well, the players who get the degree and go out and become successful at their own uh, job or profession, whatever they choose to do. So that's really special to me to see them become successful because Purdue gives you a great foundation to do that. And let me ask you too, you know, you, you've you been a part of a lot of NCAA tournament runs when you were the coach. And uh, would, would this one maybe mark one of the more special ones that you've been able to see this program grow? Oh, yeah, because the, the coach is one of my former players. So his family is special to me. He's special to me. So this would be marvelous if they could do it all, get, get to the top and win it all. That would be beautiful. You know, and to talk about that, you know, I know Coach Painter has, has probably had a little bit of, you know, some – some skepticism in the last couple of NCAA tournament runs and now they're in the final four this year, you being a former coach and you said he was your former player. What do you maybe tell him in certain situations as, you know, you being a former coach, do you guys talk about certain situations at all? Not really. Cause I know what he knows what he's doing. I uh, respect what he does. And, and the people don't understand how hard it is to get to the final four and win a championship. That is so hard because so many people want to do it. There's so many great players and so many great coaches and it's just a, it's trying, you're trying to get to the mountaintop and sometimes uh, you don't make it. Absolutely. And, and to, you know, be a part of this final four run and what's the, what's the, maybe the, been the most memorable part of this season specifically for you? Well, the very fact he wants me around is special because he could say you, you are the coach here. You're not part of the program, but he doesn't do that. He's very unselfish. He's very much uh Part of the, I'm very much part of their family in a, in a sense, and I just appreciate the fact that he uh, likes to, for me to be around. And let me ask, too, in terms of the players, what is that feedback you get from the players, and what do you tell the players maybe in, in certain situations as well? Oh, I don't tell the players anything. Matt knows what to say to them, so no, I just enjoy being around them. They're good, They're good people. Uh, they go to class. They get their degrees, and that's what it's all about, so – uh, I just appreciate the fact that they like they like to have me around. I think absolutely. You know, one last thing I'll ask you because I'm just thinking about the team aspect, right? You know, Zach and DJ Burns from NC State, two big guys going at it down in the low post. Do you think that's going to be a fun matchup to watch? Well, it will because we always had a center that was special in our programs, and it's going to be interesting to see who wins that battle because that's a big key to the game. And who do you think is going to win? And what do you think the final score is going to be? I'm going to see, think obviously Purdue is going to win. What do you think the final score is going to be? 
Well, I don't want to put any pressure on Zach, but of course I want Zach to win, but uh, I'm not going to predict anything because I really don't know. Sure, absolutely. Well, let me ask you one last thing about just Kansas and, you know, your time there and where it got you to where, you know, you are now in terms of being that coach. And what was it about Kansas, the state of Kansas, maybe not even just Kansas State University? What did you learn when you were at, in your time in Kansas that you brought along throughout your journey? Well, I had a special mom and dad. They were the best people in my life, and they taught me how to work hard, how to respect people, how to love each other. So my mom and dad were the best example of what a marriage should be like. So it's just a, something that I grew from their uh, bringing me up the right way, and I just love Kansas because of the people, and they're always special to me because the people in Kansas are special. And do you still talk to anybody from Kansas or anything like that to still keep in contact with them? Oh yeah, uh, a lot of them. I don't. I don't. I'm not going to try to name anybody, but it's just one of those things where, of course, I do because Kansas has been my life. Absolutely. Well, Coach, anything else that I may have missed from the experience of the Final Four, which is starting tomorrow, from your coaching journey, Kansas State, anything that I've missed that you'd like to add? Well, I just I just want to say how uh, disappointed I am in myself that I didn't make it to the Final Four and win it because I was Eddie Sutton's assistant at Arkansas when we went, and that was special, and he was the greatest coach I was ever around. So uh, I just want to be able to make sure that people understand that how hard it is to do this, and we want to do it, but sometimes because you want to do something that's that good, it doesn't happen. So you got to hang in there and keep working hard. You got it. Well, you know, one last thing I'll ask you, and I promise. You know, you, you know, you know Coach Tang, Coach Jerome Tang, um, oh, yeah. I imagine – when you look yeah. at what he's built in Manhattan, are you what, what what comes to mind when you think about Coach Jerome Tang and his staff and what the program he's building? Well, I'm not being able to play on him. I really don't have any details, but I know I respect him and uh, I love my university. So uh, he's just a special guy because if he wasn't special, they wouldn't have hired him. You got that right. Well, Coach, I really appreciate your time in doing this. Good luck the rest of the way. Um, I will let all your Purdue – um, you know, communications people know this will be up on our website and everything so you can catch it. Uh, it'll air tonight, so it'll be up on social media and everything, and I'll let them know whether you can find it and you can look at it um, once you have the time. Well, thank you. That's very special to me, and uh, my wife's proud of me that I'll be okay. <laughs> you are wonderful, Coach. Thank you so much. Let me turn turn the recording off here.